In this video, I'll be showing you how to create privacy policy website for your business using your mobile phone. So, a privacy policy website is a website where you state some policies and terms of your business. There are some forms and some actions you may be taking online and you'll be required to add your privacy policy website link. Something like trying to run Facebook ad. There's a kind of Facebook ad you want to run. Or while trying to set up your Facebook ad account manager or business ad account, you'll be asked to enter your privacy policy link. So your privacy policy link is a URL to your own website where your privacy policy is stated. In this video, I'll be showing you how to generate privacy policy link if you don't know how to do that. And also, I'll be showing you how to get a free website that you can use to create your own privacy policy link if you don't have a website. So let's get started. First of all, let's look at how to get a free website if you don't have a website. So you come to wordpress.com slash free. So WordPress is a CMS, content management system that allows you to build websites. All right. If you have your own domain name and hosting, you can use WordPress application to set up your own website. But if you don't have a domain name or hosting, you can set up a free website using the WordPress platform. And this website is going to come in this form. Let me say mywebsite.wordpress.com. Right, so you go to wordpress.com, click start with free. So you're going to set up your WordPress account. So for me, let me continue with Google. You are going to create an account if you don't have an account. If you have an account, you can log in with your account. All right, so I have an account and I'm going to click on login. You can enter your email address and your username or you can continue with Google. For those that are watching this for the first time, I'm going to create a new account. So I'm going to log in with any of my email. I will click on continue with Google. So when you click on continue with Google, you're going to see your email address that is already logged into your account and you select the email you want to use. So I'll be selecting one of my emails. Okay. It's coming up. So at this point, you're going to ask to create your website. So I'm going to call my website David Chinaza. Description, I'm going to say Online business coach and digital marketer. Digital marketer. So I'll click on continue. So you'll be asked to select which kind of website do you want. Do you want blog? Do you want portfolio? Do you want business? Quickly, I'll be selecting business. Let me look at business here. So once you select business, you're going to see different templates you can choose from. It's still loading. Let me just tap on this one. So make sure you are choosing a free template. Okay, premium template you have to pay. So just choose a free template. Let me choose this one. So I will choose this one. All right, click on continue. 
it's important to note that you can always come back to change your template anytime. So for the benefit of this class, we just want to set up a quick free website so that we can have our privacy policy link. So here you can see that my website looks like this, davidchinazad.wordpress.com. So at this point, I will just click on launch your site. So this is my website. Let me open this in a new tab so you can see it. Can you see? This is my website. To get my privacy policy page and link, you can see that my website only has one link here, which is about us link or page. So I will simply click on this WordPress icon. It will take me back to WordPress. I'm already logged in. Then I'll click on this icon again. I'll click on pages and I'll click on add new page. Continue in browser. So I'll click on blank page. So title of my page, I'll call it privacy policy. Okay. So here you're not going to type the content of your page. You click on this plus icon, you tap it. So for us to get our privacy policy details, let's go back to Google, type on privacy policy generator. You're going to see different privacy policy generators here. You can use any one. So for me, I'm going to use free privacy policy generator. If you have a website, at this point, you just follow this step if you don't know how to generate a privacy policy. So here I'll select website. I'll click on step two. What is your website URL? Remember your website URL. This is my free website URL. You enter your site name. You can choose an individual. Your country, you can enter the country. Okay, you click on next. They'll ask you what kind of information do you want to collect from users. So at this point, you can just check all. You click on next. Here, they will ask you how can users contact you for any question regarding your privacy policy. You can just click on by visiting a web page or you can click on email or you can click on phone number so you can enter your email let's just say info at this point you enter your real email okay You click on next. Click no, I don't want a professional privacy policy. Click on next. Then enter your email to get your privacy policy. I'm going to enter my email. I'll click on generate.
So at this point, you're going to see link to your privacy policy. Now this privacy policy website is hosting for you a free privacy policy link. You can copy it and use it or you can copy this one. It says copy HTML code for your privacy policy website. Okay, you can copy this and go to your website and paste it as a HTML code or you can generate your own file. So here is a preview of your privacy policy. Can you see it? This is the preview. So in order for us to get this privacy policy to our website, I'll click on generate files. Then I will download the txt file. I will open it. I will copy. I will select or copy. Okay. So at this point, I'll be going back to my website to paste it. So here I'm on my website, I will now paste. This is my privacy policy. So you can just quickly edit this, okay? You edit it so that it will look nice. So you can see I have carefully formatted and edited this. So at this point, you click on publish. You click publish. You can see that your page is now live. So this is the URL of your page, the link of your page. Can you see it? davidchinaza.wordpress.com slash privacy policy. You can copy it and use it for anything you want. Wherever you are asked to present a privacy policy or impute a privacy policy, you just put this and it's going to be approved. In order for you to remember this, you can save this in your document or somewhere in your phone where you will always remember it. So this is how to create a privacy policy page. Now you can see that when we go back to our website, let's view our website and see what happens. Can you see? We now have, let's visit the website. We now have, when you click on the pages, we now have about us and we have the privacy policy. Can you see? We have our privacy policy page. So we have created it. You can copy it and um, use it wherever necessary, right? So in case you want to turn this page into a desktop view, you just click on the three dots at the top right corner of your screen and click on desktop site. Now you will see your site in desktop view. All right. So this is how you can create a privacy policy page for yourself using a free website. You can even edit this website properly and it becomes your contact point on the internet. So I hope this tutorial is quite clear. You can do well to watch it two times so that you can understand better. And if you have any question, feel free to reach out to me and myself or any member of my team will answer you. For those of you who already have a website, you follow the same process and use your website in place of this free website link. Enter your own website and you will generate your own privacy policy. If you are using WordPress as a default website builder on your own website, it's going to generate for you a default privacy policy link.